Hi everyone, Anat Kessler here with a new mini album tip for you. So my tip today is to take a card template and use it to make a mini album. So you take your card template, make it bigger, and then use it to create a mini album. Let's see how. So we're going to start on the long side and score it at 3 and at 9. And then we are going to turn our cardstock and score it at 3 inches. All the way from the top to the bottom. And now we're going to fold on all our score lines and burnish them well and make sure it's all aligned and that you didn't make a mistake. And once you have that done, you need to make seven more pieces exactly like this. Because for our project for the giant never ending card, we need eight identical pieces. So I'm just making sure that I have eight. And then we can go ahead and start assembling our card. So we're going to take two pieces, align them vertically, one next to the other like this and then we're going to apply glue to all four corners all four squares in the corners and make sure that you apply the glue on all the surface but not on the score lines because then if we have glue on the score lines we won't be able to fold the card later and then the whole thing is not going to work. So just go up to the score line without actually applying any glue on it. Then bring two more pieces and attach them horizontally, one on the top and one on the bottom. And of course you need to align them with the two pieces underneath. Align them with the corners, make sh making sure that it's all glued straight. And then the bottom piece, the same way. By the way, it doesn't matter where the folds, if they're facing up or down, it doesn't matter at this point. Just burnishing the corners, making sure it's all glued straight and strong. Next, we're going to turn it to the right, quarter of a turn, and open it in the middle. And make sure that when you open it, do it very carefully while folding it to the right direction, like this. And we're going to attach our two next pieces. Just want to make sure that it opens properly. Okay. So now we're going to apply glue. Again, we're going to start with the four corner squares. And I remind you again not to apply any glue to the score lines. And like always, I recommend using liquid glue especially here when you need to align everything make sure that it's in the right place and we're also going to apply glue to the two large squares in the center so the top one and the bottom one just apply the glue and then again bring two pieces and attach them horizontally aligning them with all the edges and all the corners and making sure that it's all straight and in place this is very important because later the card needs to move so it's important that everything aligns next we are going to turn it again, quarter of a turn, to 
to the right or to the left, it doesn't really matter. Just making sure that everything is completely glued. So again, quarter of a turn to the right and open in the center. Again, making sure that all the folds open properly and are burnished well for easier movement. Then we can go ahead and attach two more pieces. So now we're going to apply the glue starting again from the four corners. And this time we're going to go on all the little squares on the side and the other side as well. So just make sure that you don't apply too much glue. You don't want the paper to curl or to wrinkle. So I continue with applying glue to all the sides. And later, next we're going to apply glue to the center as well. So basically on this piece, we're applying glue on everything. But again, without going over the score lines. So in the center, in the two large squares in the center, you can go over the score lines in the center. There are two horizontal score lines, but not on the sides. These are the two horizontal pieces that we're going to attach and align with all the edges like we did before, one on the top and one on the bottom. And these are basically our two last pieces that we're attaching. Just making sure that everything is glued properly. Next, I'm just going to work the card a little bit to make sure that it knows where it needs to go. And now we are ready to cover it with all the cover papers. And again, you have all the measurements for those as well in the link under the video. In the description, there is a link that you can click on and download all the measurements and the instructions. So basically, we have two types of cover papers. We have squares and we have rectangles. And for the rectangles, we have vertical rectangles and horizontal rectangles like here. So if you want to use papers that have a direction with writing or any other pattern that the direction matters, you need to take that into account. So you need to make sure that you cut the papers in the right direction. And of course, since we're using different patterns and different colors, I recommend, at least that's what I did, to use papers from the same line, from the same paper collection, so you'll have matching colors and patterns. I'm using Graphic 45 Imagine paper collection, but of course you can use whatever you have in your stash. So I wanted to show you how to cover the side with the horizontal papers and now I'm going to cover one side that has the vertical rectangles so you can see how I do that and it's fun to use papers that have a pattern on them that is not that has a direction like a person, a face, or writing, or something like that. Makes it a little bit more interesting, especially when you open the card to all its possibilities. So I'm going to finish covering this side, and then I'm going to show you how the card turned out. And you can see that all the colors match since I'm using the same paper collection, so that is a plus. 
last four pieces. So you can add photos instead of cover papers or you can add writing, journaling on them if you want to give it to someone as a gift. And this is how the card looks after I covered all the sides. I really, really love how this project turned out. Really cool project, not very difficult to make. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything. I hope you like this video and I want to thank you for joining me and I will see you next time.